Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. MX Linux 23, the latest iteration of the highly regarded MX Linux distribution. Built from Debian 12, Bookworm, and MX repositories, MX23 brings a host of new features and enhancements to offer users an even more powerful and accessible operating system. With three major desktop versions to choose from, improved accessibility, updated tools, and enhanced customization options, MX Linux 23 is set to deliver an exceptional user experience. In this video, we will delve into the key highlights of this release and discover why MX Linux continues to be a favorite among Linux enthusiasts worldwide. Major Desktop Versions MX Linux 23 caters to diverse user preferences by providing three major desktop versions, XFCE, Fluxbox, and KDE Plasma. Whether you prefer a lightweight and elegant XFCE environment, a minimalistic Fluxbox setup, or the feature-rich KDE Plasma desktop, MX23 has you covered. Each desktop version offers a smooth and responsive experience, allowing you to unleash your productivity and creativity. Enhanced Accessibility Accessibility is a key focus in MX Linux 23. With the inclusion of the Orca screen reader and screen magnifier tools, users with visual impairments can easily navigate and interact with the system. Fluxbox and XFCE now come with the Magnus screen magnifier, while KDE Plasma uses KMag. Though Orca does not appear in menus due to Debian's packaging, it can be manually launched and configured through KDE's integrated accessibility settings. These efforts ensure that MX Linux is an inclusive platform for all users, regardless of their abilities. MX Tools Enhanced User Experience MX Linux's renowned MX tools have received significant updates in MX23. Each tool now launches with individual policy kit configurations, offering a more secure and tailored experience. Notably, the new User Installed Packages application simplifies the migration process between major versions. It generates a file containing a list of User Installed Packages, enabling seamless package installation on another system. MX Snapshot another popular tool, has been improved to provide customizable snapshot boot options while filtering out potential issues, making it easier to create live systems across different machines. Customization and theming MX23 introduces several exciting customization options to make your desktop experience truly unique. MX Tweak has been updated to handle Polkit changes and now offers expanded theming options on XFCE and Fluxbox. Fluxbox users will find many new configuration options, including special AppFinder configurations for ROFI, which replaces XFC4 AppFinder. Despite relying less on XFCE applications, Fluxbox retains the reliable Thunar file manager. Furthermore, the KDE Plasma release has undergone tweaks to accommodate new configuration options in Plasma 5.27, ensuring smooth and consistent user interactions. Updated audio and firewall. MX23 adopts Pipewire and Wire Plumber, replacing Pulse Audio for handling audio devices, which enhances audio management across the system. Additionally, the uncomplicated firewall, UFW, is now enabled by default, bolstering system security. However, users should be aware that this may affect printer setup for some configurations. Translation and Localization MX23 marks a significant improvement in translation and localization efforts, with the addition of many new languages. While further refinements are underway, MX23 reflects the dedication to making the OS accessible to users worldwide. Conclusion MX Linux 23 builds upon its legacy of excellence, offering users a versatile, accessible, and customizable operating system. Whether you're a Linux enthusiast, a developer, or a casual user, MX23 has something to offer. With its trio of desktop environments, enhanced accessibility features, updated MX tools, improved theming options, and robust system performance, MX Linux 23 is a worthy choice for those seeking a powerful and user-friendly Linux distribution. Upgrade to MX Linux 23 today and experience the joy of a seamless computing experience. Thank you for watching, and if you find this video useful, please like, share, and subscribe.